it's all very well when you see a younger dog at the ATM or you know running around looking happy but in the long run uh, we find when these dogs become older they uh, they suffer a lot many stray dogs are met with road accidents or grow old on the streets without being adopted in some cases they are rescued by local shelters where they are able to receive specialized care and the love of volunteers and staff lucky and sandy are two such cases as they were both rescued by the welfare for animals in goa shelter earlier this year both dogs have been through a lot to be where they are now as when lucky first arrived he was entirely unable to walk he was brought in paralyzed so unable to stand unable to walk he was moving his limbs a little bit but not very much like many other stray animals caught in unfortunate situations lucky was most likely paralyzed in a road accident We think it was probably some kind of vehicle accident. His rescuer brought him into Wag, and he was immediately given uh, first care by Doctor Mu. So I was able to start physiotherapy immediately. What makes Lucky's story different is the presence of physiotherapist Mary, who has worked to help him gain his footing once again. I I got him up to stand on his uh, four legs with some help. and immediately i could see that uh, although he wasn't really able to take a lot of weight there was a lot of potential there lucky has definitely demonstrated this potential as he will never miss the opportunity to run around the rescue clinic it's taken time but he is finally beginning to stand on all four legs once again while some animals in the recovery process need hands-on care and companionship The most impactful thing we can do for others is giving them space and a little bit of love. Sandy is Sandy's one of those dogs that as long as she's got her place, as long as she's got her comfort, as long as she can navigate around uh, her, the area that she's in, actually she's really very happy. Sandy's another rescue dog who has become close friends with Lucky in the past few months that she spent at Wag. Sandy was a, a stray dog that was being fed by a very kind woman and uh, she noticed at while she was about 12 years old that uh, she had developed uh, cataracts. The peaceful dog then found a new home at Welfare for Animals in Goa and due to her special needs was staying with Lucky. These two dogs now share the new space Sandy's house where they're free to wander the garden and rest in the shade. Having a little companion is probably helped Sandy. I don't know if you've noticed but since uh, she's moved to her own apartment, she she's far more active. Uh, going from here to there and, and really very happy. With space, freedom and love, both animals are able to lead content and peaceful lives, and Lucky is even on the path to recovery. Unfortunately, in most cases, disabled and older dogs don't get the same chances that Lucky and Sandy have. Along with the daily search for food and water, they're less likely to be provided with the resources they need. Every morning, uh, they get up, they have to try and find food and water. This isn't a problem that we have no control over, however. In fact, there are definite steps we can take to give every disabled dog a life like Sandy or Lucky's. Government assistance is essential in order to facilitate the direction of funds where necessary, which will then give disabled and older dogs, along with stray animals overall, access to resources such as food, water, shelter, and medical treatment. Uh, the government's uh, ministerial level, panchayat level, have to be a lot more responsible and enthusiastic as to the plight of these animals. That doesn't mean that the actions of individuals and smaller groups don't make a difference. In fact, the situation is almost the opposite. NGOs are already working to create dedicated spaces for these animals, and it's just a matter of making these centers more widespread. As for what you can do, well, feeding and caring for dogs in your neighborhood, which includes checking up on their health when possible, can help your local animals stay safe, healthy, and happy. These actions send ripples out. and every biscuit you give a street dog is another step towards peaceful and joyful lives for all stray animals